Don't laugh at me just yet. <laughs> Have you ever been stuck in a film that you wish was just a bit more exciting? Well, now with the help of a brand new device, you can control what's on screen. Tech expert Julia Hardy is here, along with Took Around the Corner here, Trey Azam, founder of Mindplay to tell us more. Right, I've got the brain band on. You're looking really cool, Hey, Stephen. look, this is... And you see at the bottom of the... We'll see it in a sec. At the bottom of the screen... Yeah, so, OK, basically, this is a mind play uh, brain... That's brain my wave. brain wave at this the bottom. This is your brain Do you want to come over here and we'll, we'll show you your brain wave? So, as you can see, at the bottom of the screen here, this is literally what your brain is doing right now. So if you get a little bit kind of calm, we can see you blinking on the right. If you blink... We should see it come up on the right hand side. That's you blinking. Yeah, and when I talk, it all kicks off again as well. It all goes it? crazy. So we've got these. Sorry, we've got these three little meters here. So the, uh, the red one basically is your concentration. So if you concentrate really hard and focus and read or like, can you focus? It's it's go it goes it's up. gone down. Come on, focus, focus, Dixon. Because surely, like you know, breaking news, you've got to be kind of very concentrated if if but I, calm. Look, if this came up now on the screen and my breaking news came up, it would be very focused. That, but that's, let me tell you, know, you, it's um it's a combination basically of uh, being very concentrated and the blue meter is calm. And the green right. one is like a combination of the two. Now, what they've done with um, the movie 47 Ronin is they've basically recut existing footage of this particular fight scene. Right. And then they've basically interpreted this data. And because it's all to do with being a samurai, you have to be, you know, concentrate right, and be me. calm. It's my second nature. I mean, you are, that's my nickname for you, is Samurai. Yep. It's just a weird coincidence. So um, if we go to like, you can see here, obviously, you focus and you're not. So we can actually, I think we can jump in and uh, have a go, basically. We'll go into this fight scene. OK. And uh, what will happen is, um, there'll be a little, um, uh, uh, the meter will come up on the screen like a sort of prompt, mm. and at that moment you have to, oh, OK, so this is your function right now. So if you concentrate really hard, <laughs> come on, I know it's difficult, Stephen, give it a go. Come on, Dixon. Maintain your focus. Come on, man. There's some breaking news happening, you've got to get in there, it's focus. It's there, I'm there, I want this game to start, you see, yeah, then I'll on. be... I don't know, your breaking news is not looking so good right now. It's not good, no, I need, I need the director to tell me <laughs> something go. that's... Someone say uh... something in his ear to frighten him. <laughs> OK, so right. we get an idea of, like, this particular level of focus. So we're going to start watching this particular fight scene, and then when it prompts in the, in the corner of the screen, that's when you concentrate. So you can just watch, watch the film, concentrate on the battle, and then it will pop up on the screen, and you have to focus at that particular time to create a different outcome. Which so, is very clever. It is. It's, it's the first time I think they've used like a, a full kind of Hollywood movie and in a seamless transitioning way. So yeah, here we go. So you're going to start fighting soon. There's going to be a, a dragon turning up, and you're going to have to you know use your will of the samurai. Oh right. So yeah. I'm effectively sort of Keanu Reeves. You are. You are very Keanu oh, Reeves. Yeah. Like you know, in more ways than one. That's fine. Um, here we go. So it'll be coming oh. up in second. Giant dragon. Oh, that's quite scary. It is a little bit scary. Let's see. <laughs> Ooh. And yeah, so yeah, you have to like focus and concentrate, and then this will basically determine. Oh, here we go. There you go. All right. Now focus now. Focus now. Come on. I don't know whether you focused enough. I'm trying. <laughs> I think you might actually just get eaten by a dragon now. Oh. But you know. Oh. Oh, now focus, focus. The come up. Oh, focus. Go on, I'm trying to get the get the get the. Do it. Do it. <laughs> You're crumbling under the pressure. I am. I don't know how to focus my brain. <laughs> OK. But so, what, what are the everyday applications for this? Oh, God. So one of, obviously, the most interesting things, really, for cinema is the fact that, obviously, cinema's a very, very passive experience. You just tend to sit back and you watch. Imagine if you went to the cinema and you could all, basically, change the outcome. So I this won. is your samurai score was 12. Out 12. Of, I think it was 30. Is it 30? Oh, 12 out of 30. Out of come 30. on. That's not on. very good. No, you're, it's you're not. Only, you're only it's 12 not, It's not very samurai. good. But actually... You this is, quite like this. But this is quite... I mean, is this an expensive bit of kit? It's actually not that expensive. 200. 200 quid? It's not bad at all. Wow. But, of course, you need the content to be able to but interact with it. Yeah, I mean, this is sort of like a kind of pilot way of uh, testing it and showing what the possible applications could be. But just think it could completely revolutionise cinema. Couldn't it just? Yes. And even, actually, with the right... Broadcasting makes it a bit difficult, presumably, but presu there's a p op an opportunity to anything you watch downloaded you could have a different outcome, TV Absolutely. shows or anything else. Absolutely. All it is is a matter of kind of... It tell, the, the player basically then tells you to jump to a particular different clip, so it's just a matter of having all of those things and then seamlessly transitioning. So you could watch a film repetitively and have a completely different outcome. Or if, you know, maybe you just wanted to turn it off, didn't want to hear Jennifer Aniston waffling on, you're like, oh, no. no, no. Fair enough, fair enough. And what about the idea of using these brainwaves to actually 
control something directly like a like a game? Um, well, I mean, there's a lot of stuff uh, in video games at the moment. Obviously, with the Xbox One, they use a lot of bio they're starting to work in biometrics and stuff like that. So it can, you know, the the new Kinect can basically read your skin and tell you how engaged or interested you are. So imagine you're playing a video game, and if you're finding it easy, you know, you're fighting off a zombie horde or something, and you're finding it easy, <laughs> they could throw more zombies at you. So it'd be different every time you play. That'd be Fantastic. quite an interesting thing. Do you know what? And and actually. This looks all right, doesn't it? I think you actually... I don't think you should just keep it, just to wear for the news, you I know? Could, yeah, I could. Control Look, your iPad. The, the point with all these things that we talk about is that it's a, it's a fascinating first step on, on a long road. It's these sort of crucial Absolutely. steps forward that, that matter. And with Trey Azam, who is, is, you've took, we've tucked him away, but it's just fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. So keep it coming, man. That's what I say. <laughs> and there's more tech news and features this evening on Sky News, our weekly tech programme. Swipe 745 and 8.45 for you this evening.